Hello there, and welcome again to my workshop. The other day I did a video on manufacturing wooden pens, uh, in particular hue and pine and blackwood. Uh, I am actually manufacturing hue and pine, blackwood, myrtle and oak pens. And uh, if you go to my the last video I put up, um, you'll you'll see that I've, I've listed them there and with pricing and how to contact me for ordering. And I've had such a response uh, for pens and uh, let me tell you now I'll have no problem in uh, in in making the orders um, but there, there probably will be uh, about a, a week's delay from you putting an order in to me actually getting it out but that's fine. I've had quite a few of you asking about the finishes I'm using on the pens and also myrtle. I'll come around there and talk to you a little bit easier. Well this is a piece of myrtle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the lathe and uh, I'll machine it down into sections and I'll put the finishes on and show you how I apply the finishes or how you could apply finishes. Incidentally this piece of myrtle I, I've got in my hand if you sat down and counted the rings just this piece I have is over 50 years old. Um, so myrtle is a quite a long-lived tree as well as indeed you know most trees are long-lived. <laughs> I mean, oak, oak trees can live to a thousand years, um, myrtle certainly can as well, and uh, hue and pine, you know, is the king of age, really. Uh, I believe some trees uh, do live or have lived or been dated up to 5,000 years old. I haven't got any of them. <laughs> so the finish I use on my pieces, I, I use two types um, for the one finish and they're Australian made and the first one is is the company is called U Butte okay so that's real Australian language U Butte um, so it's, it's U Butte polishes um, this one is the Triple E ultra sheen wax. Now this itself will give you um, a finish. When you apply it to, to the wood, you apply it with a, a rag, uh, some people use paper but you just don't get the same finish because you need to, to when you're applying it you need to create friction to warm it up. And it's that friction and warming up process actually allows it to set into the, 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 the surface of the wood. Um, but with this one, if you use this alone, it gives you a lovely finish, uh, and initially a lovely sheen, but over a period of time it will dull slightly. So, now I know a lot of turners uh, in Australia and I, I believe New Zealand and other places overseas yeah, use this one solely. Now this is another U-Butte product. So this is Shell Wax Glow and this is a friction polish. Uh, now a, a lot of people just use this alone but I like to put a base layer down of this wax then a top coat of this and you know the sheen that um, results or I think you might call it a luster is absolutely beautiful and it's there to stay and this is I believe probably the best product you can ever buy on the market and it's not just because it's an Australian product uh, and made here in Australia it's a fact so um, go along to their website and have a look. So I'll show you now on a piece of myrtle um, 
exactly what it'll do and how to apply it. So we have our piece of myrtle between centers. So I'll just turn this down into a nice round cylinder, then I'll break it up into different segments and then I'll apply some of that finish. A little bit at a time, don't be in a hurry to do things like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change now to my round nose, small round nose scraper. I only want to take a very small amount off and I want to finish the material. most of the tooling marks out. So now we have our cylinder, which is pretty, pretty all right. I'm going to now break this up into individual segments. in the material. Now depending on I suppose if there's any tool marks left in the material. Uh, if there is I'll start off with a 240 grit and then work my way up to 600 then let's get this up the right way 800 and then I finish up with 1200 paper. So that's what we're going to do right now. There's no tool marks in that which is lovely. So we'll remove the tool rest. We don't need to move this out the way because you're going to be working with your hands in close proximity to a fast spinning object. You don't want anything to uh, catch the back of your knuckles on. Heat like this. So move it out the way. Like that. So now we can finish this piece of myrtle as in with sanding. And then we'll get into the finishing cuts.
I've prepared this piece of material now all the way down to 1200 paper and it feels like glass but it's still not good enough so what I'm going to do is apply some finishes now first of all I'm going to leave this as a controlled area in other words I'm not going to touch anything I'm not going to put any finish on that at all just leave it at 1200 paper uh, then I'm going to put some of the Ultra Sheen wax only on here. On the second section, I'm just going to put the glow. And then on the third piece, I'm going to apply the wax and the glow. And then you can see the difference for yourself. Now I use cotton rag, clean cotton rag. It's the best material I've found. Uh, just be aware that you have a spinning object here and uh, you know you try your best not to let it snag and get wound up. Uh, I know a lot of people use paper for that reason uh, but uh, as long as you're careful you can use rag and if you hold it in such a way that if it does come out of your hands right it's pulled away from you. So just a little bit on the rag like so and we're going to apply it to this first one. Uh, don't forget this is a friction application so it requires um, you to move it over the entire area that you are applying it and uh, don't hold it in one area because it'll clag up and um, you require some heat via the friction of the rag on the material to cure it then, to cure it onto the wood. So here we go at um, about a thousand RPM. So we've applied it, so now I'm going to apply some heat with a clean part of the rag. Keep it moving all the time. I feel I can feel that quite warm through the rag. Okay. And hopefully one of the cameras, probably this camera, this side will probably pick up the the sheen now. But don't forget if you apply this wax by itself, that's the triple E. Ultra. Um, it, it's shiny now at the moment, but over a period of time it will dull. And you'd have to keep on shining it up. Um, so what I'm after is a permanent shine. So we'll just cap that a second. Okay, so this is the Shellax Glow. So, only an Aussie could come up with these names, and these are genuine Australian made products. So, different rag. Okay. A little bit on the rag. Oh. Actually, before you apply this, it would be a good idea, and it does actually say on the bottle too, to give it a good shake, because some of the ingredients in this is, I uh, suppose, heavier 
and it will come out of the fluid slightly so it will settle in the bottom so if you give it a good shake, good mix up just a little bit on the rag like that and here we go with the second one same speed so I'm trying to keep it within this area without going I might have just strayed onto that one a little okay so we've got it onto the wood clean bit of rag bit of friction keep it moving all the time try not to stay in one one spot That's quite warm. And immediately you can see this is a higher gloss than that. And this gloss will stay. I think uh, a lot of wood turners or a lot of wood finishing people use the word uh, that it has luster. Well, this definitely has luster. Okay, so this third piece here, we're going to put both the Ultra Sheen wax and the glow on together. So you put the wax on first, then the glow. Okay, so just a little bit on the rag. Not too much, because we're in a very small area. That will be fine. Just a bit on the rag. Uh, I run this about a thousand RPM. I find that uh, for this diameter to be um, about the best. Uh, with my pens, I run them about 1500 RPM to do this process. To apply the wax first, keep it moving. Okay, clean part of the rag, now apply some friction. Keep it moving. You can hear the lathe slow in a little because I'm putting some, a little bit, quite a bit of pressure on there. Now we change to the glow. I'll keep the lathe running like this to assist it to dry and cure before we put this on. That's the resident parrots you can hear. Okay, here we go for the glow. Part of the rag, and now apply some pressure to create some friction, get some heat into it, and get that beautiful, beautiful, rich, luster, glass like finish that will stay. Just keep it moving like this. And that's it. I hope the cameras are picking that up because I can actually see the difference here between them. Uh, and I know that this will dull over time. Uh, this is okay, it's an okay finish, but this is a perfect finish. Just turn it around so you can see. 
and of course this is the control and the lighter parts that you can see here a bit streaky of course that is the uh, the, the dust uh, from the, the 1200 grit uh, that is in sort of impregnated in and this finish will you know sort of scale that out from there I suppose um, so there you are there you have it so this finish here this third one with the ultra sheen and the glow that is the finish every pen that I make gets so in an effort to get you a real good look I'm just gonna hand hold the camera and bring you in for a very close look and I'll put some additional light on it for you I've actually just managed to um, to just zoom the camera in there and I'm sure you can you can see okay so this is the control uh, this is the the wax only this is the glow only and this is the combined wax and glow and I'm sure you will agree that that is absolutely beautiful so I've just brought up the website for U-Butte polishes uh, I understand they they will actually ship worldwide um, so have a look yourself and you will see some amazing <laughs> Australian uh, products um, and with some real colorful names uh, for instance uh, this one here is called and only in Australia you could get this it's called shit hot wax <laughs> I love that one. I've got to get a stick of that. So, um, <laughs> there you go. Go along and have a look yourself. Uh, the, I, I believe that it, there is probably no better finishing products um, or waxing products on the market today. So, go and have a look for yourself. Thank you for watching today. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please press like and now's probably a good time to subscribe and uh, come and have a look at some of my other videos and regarding the pens uh, I've put the, the information that are on the underside of my videos now I make four main materials and that is hue and pine, blackwood, myrtle and oak uh, they're the you know really really nice rich woods all the prices are in US dollars because everybody understands you know the value of a, a US dollar um, these prices uh, don't include postage obviously because people from all over the world it's going to be different costs and uh, the email address where you can apply to purchase a pen is at the bottom as well so thank you for watching and all I've got to do now is say bye for now mm -hmm.